extra minutes. Hello, Effie. Oh my God, it is Michael Usher. Good to meet you. Even better in the flesh. <laughs> How are you doing? How exciting. Good to meet you. How are Hello. you? Oh my God, I can't believe that you're here. May you I know? sit? Sit, stay, you. roll over, do whatever you want. <laughs> it's good to catch up with Effie. Where is Effie in life these days? Oh, well, I'm on the prowl. You know, I've been doing this stage show called Date with Effie, and I'm looking for love. That sort of love. You know, that kind of love. Cashed up love. <laughs> No luck in finding that kind of love? Not yet, but I'm out here every night doing it, you know, searching, seeing what I can find. Good. You know, you know, well, you know there's a lot of compromise involved, you know. Well, I'm not into baggage, so I don't want someone who's already been around the trap, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking for something fresh, something optimistic, something respectable. Your audiences and your fans can be a different mix of people. It must be hard to find the right man out there. Well, it is, because a lot of men are either married or have been married, or shy, or, you know, afraid. And uh, so that leaves me to have to do a lot of the searching myself, which I'm happy to do. Or people out people, they'll point, this guy's available. And, you know, I try to get to know them from the stage before I get them up there, just to know that they're gonna be of some value. But put up your hand if you've got the nuts to go towards the best thing ever. What about you, Mr. Floral Shirt with the white pants? <laughs> they have a good time. They have a really good time, and, and something comes out of every situation. I break hearts. That's what I do for a living. <laughs> I hope you're going to be all right after this. I'll, I'll see how I hold up. Yeah. If he's always, correct me if I'm wrong, you've always kept yourself, um, how do I put it, tidy. You, you've come yes. into the marriage yes. in a very tidy way, if I can put it quite politely. Yes, yes. I, I like to say that if my downstairs was a rental property, I'd be getting my entire bond back. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know... I've maintained, I've held on to something a lot of people have forfeited. But I, I figure it's, it's, it's something worth holding on to for the right person, you know, the right price. Safe to say, you remain quite a catch. It's true. For the right price? That's it. That's <laughs> it. For the right guy, it could be Lotto, yeah. you know, every night of the week for the rest of his life with me. Because I come with cash, don't get me wrong. I mean, I won a Logie, I've done very well, I've had a long career, but I don't want to part with it, so therefore I'd rather inherit somebody else's, you know. I think that's fair. I mean, the way it works gender-wise, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that men, you know, prove themselves in the world by being powerful and successful, and women prove themselves in the world by being attractive and, and sharp and, and able and nurturing and all those sorts of things as well, right? So I'm delivering on my side of the bargain, and I'm expecting the guy to do the same, you know. On behalf of his gender. So, so tonight I should expect less of a less of a show, more of a what is it, dating experience. That's it. Well, you know, I confess all my sins, of which have not been very many, from what we said earlier. Uh, my dating past, and halfway through the show, I reach out to the audience and I try to find three guys that I think might be suitors, and I bring them up onto the stage and I get to know them. So duck for cover if you're out there That's now. It. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, and it attracts all sorts of guys. You know, I have a big gay following, so often I'll get a lot of gay boys up there, which I'm happy for because they are big earners. They're usually great at their jobs, and they're not expecting anything sexually, which sort of works for me anyway because I'm on the frigid side of things. The, the, the whole package. That's it. <laughs> gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Well done. Thank you, Effie. Pleasure. Good. Well, I better let you get back to it. Okay. What was the shot like? You see my heaving, <laughs> moundy. Like, I can't control things, no. <laughs> bursting out of things. It's like it's an uh, escape from Alcatraz. That's good, that's good right now, though. <laughs> and blooming.